how has the tour been for you guys without Ben? It's been good. Um, I mean, we were three, yeah, three weeks in. Uh, we had we we was just waking up, breathing every day since doing this. I think it was like 2018, so it's always nice to come back and uh, after so long. And uh, these festivals are great. You know, it's it's great to hit some of these countries that we don't normally get to. So it's been really good, really good. I actually talked with Ben in 2021, just before uh, See What's On The Inside was coming out. So after that, we have gotten uh, Never Gonna Learn EP and then the new version of uh, Faded Out. So what were kind of the ideas behind these uh, collaborations with Maria Brink and Sharon Del Adele? Uh, Maria's been a, big, uh, a good friend of mine for a long time and she's she's bugged me a lot about doing songs together. Um, this is kind of the first one. Makes sense. That, that we this, well, this was the first one since the last time she bugged me that we'd done something. I think you might have formulated the whole thing because you wrote that. I think you wrote that song when we were all out that day. Faded out. I and mean, we went to the restaurant. Faded, uh, no, no, no. We're talking about the Maria Brink. Oh, the Maria Brink. Oh, wow. um, I'm thinking of uh, I'm thinking of Faded yeah, Out. Yeah, um, my bad. Wrong one. Yeah, that was... Maria. Yeah. That was... I mean, it was going to be a song on the album and then it, it we didn't feel like it was supposed to be. Um, and then, uh, Sharon had reached out to us yeah. wanting to do Fade It Out. That wasn't something that we'd thought of or you kind know, of came up with in our own brains. That was all her. Um, and w as soon as we had those two, uh, it was kind of a, it came down to a, a music industry marketing thing to put them all together as an EP and it'd be a separate thing of like, here's alternate versions of stuff. Um, Yeah. That's how it came about. Yeah, at what point after See What's On The Inside did you start working on new, on new music? Um, I believe Ben started writing pretty soon afterwards. Um, we didn't start recording until... A year ago. I don't even think it was that long. Not even, long, not even a year ago. No, yeah. yeah, six to eight months ago. The Dark Void came out last month, so could you tell me a bit about the background of that song? Um... That one, I don't, I don't remember when I got the first version of that over. Um, it's obviously, it's obviously much more high energy than the last record. I think it would, uh, I think it always kind of had, we had the idea of it. It was something that we knew we wanted to play live, which is obviously why we're playing it now. Um, one of the first singles, it's definitely high energy. It retains some of that um, energy that from, from previous records that I think that people were excited to hear. Um, yeah. I mean, the whole record itself isn't just that, though. It's like Danny said before, like, it's a collection of everything that we've done. So that boy just happens to be, one. I think, one of the more energetic ones. Yeah, it felt it felt like a good lead track because it had a bit of everything that the album has. We this, The entire concept of this album was uh, the kind of one-for-them thing. Yeah, yeah. So it was supposed to be... It's about time we gave... Kind of a, a, <laughs> a little snapshot from each part of our career blended into one record so that there's something for everyone mm -hmm. uh, we obviously have we have very different groups of fans we have uh we have the, those who kind of generation like the like yeah. the, the the screamo heavy stuff and, yeah. and then there's there's fans who like the big arena rock stuff and everything in the middle so it's it's difficult to please everyone at the same time but we kind of attempted to with this album and that song was kind of an amalgamation of everything yeah it was it was a very personal record what are like the biggest differences to the new stuff for you? Um, the the last time I feel like was definitely, it was just a, a very personal experience where we we were all together, we were locked away, we we didn't think about um, necessarily what's going to happen live, why, why we should do it this way, why yeah. we should do it that way. It was very like there was no up to us and this song's for radio, this song's for festivals, this, this song's for here. yeah this, this song's for this group of fans. It was just we would we just got together uh as 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 friends and as musicians and created together. Um this album we went in and it was like it was like cool let's check these boxes for these people. Yeah yeah totally make sure that people get uh make sure like these each each subgroups get in what they want because there's many you know there's many of different like danny says so many different categories of fans and we it's hard to please everybody you know you can't please everybody but this one i think we gave a little bit for everyone so 
last week we got Psycho and Bad Blood, of course. First of all, why the two song release? And uh, second of all, if you could tell a bit about backgrounds for those songs too and which kind of boxes they check in your mind. Yeah. I think uh, Psycho is definitely kind of the big energetic rock song. In radio, you know. Radio, fe festivals, like just the big fun live song. Bad Blood's... Uh, kind of heavy screamo thing it just hits so hard it's like in contrast to what people wouldn't expect from us um we thought that the two together in the same day would be just perfect kind of explanation of the whole album really like how yeah i think everything i think if we would have just released psycho the fans on the heavy screamo side would have complained and been like we knew there was just gonna be that one little heavy bit if we'd have just done bad blood i feel like the fans on the rock side would have felt neglected mm -hmm. so it was just do both, and then everyone knows, like, hey, there's something for everyone. And, and it's not just those two songs. That's just a taste of what the whole album is, too. So there are heavy songs, and, you know, some there is even a ballad, you know, like a rock, you know, big rock songs, too. So, you know. What are the near future plans after the U.S. tour? After the U.S. tour, we're going to see. There's, there's a lot of stuff in the works, nothing we can really talk about. Yeah. Um, as soon as stuff, as soon as the ink's dry on things and we have signatures on the right lines we can talk about stuff but until then there's so many moving parts and so much can change so it's for me like my eyes are set i don't want to think about that yet i'm thinking about what we've got right ahead of us i think it's going to be a really great tour coming up in the us those few festivals as well i don't like to think too far ahead i need to keep my focus to what's now and uh give it what it deserves you know yeah yeah, if we can't uh, look that far in the future, can we take a bit of a look backwards down the memory lane? Uh, what would be like the, or what are the first things that come to mind when you think about the times you joined the band? Some core memories from when we started. Having to having to carry James to bed every night was I've, one of them. I have no memories. I was very intoxicated. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Responsible, irresponsible. <laughs> Responsible, the problem. Nah, James, dude. He's got a much I heavier head. I caused it. Yeah, made it happen. Yeah, that's why he's become such an enabler now. Because yeah. it was you. you taught him how to do that. Yeah, just lots of drunk, crazy, blurry nights. Uh, having fun. We were in another country. For me personally, I was 17 and I was in, I was on the other side of the world for the first time. I kind of had to keep pinching myself because I didn't think it was real. But at the same time, when I pinched myself, it hadn't become real yet because we were still just living in parking lots and doing the stuff we would have been doing back home, but it came too. So I look back and even though we were at the other side of the world, we were just we would be doing exactly the same thing we would have been doing at home. So yeah.